Rubella is commonly known as German measles. It's a viral infection, an RNA virus in fact, that we can prevent by vaccination. In children and adults it's relatively mild, but it's the unborn child, congenital rubella, in whom the infection can be just so severe. If it occurs in the first eight to ten weeks of pregnancy, up to 90% of children can be badly damaged, including cataracts of the eye, brain damage, uh, effects on the immune system, uh, as well as sensory neural deafness. If it occurs at around 16 weeks, the risk of damage goes down to 10%, and beyond 20 weeks, the risk is negligible. For more than 40 years, we've had an effective vaccine against rubella. To begin with, we gave it to teenage girls uh, in high school, but that didn't prove effective. There were still thousands of cases occurring every year, especially in boys. And so the vaccine was introduced for both boys and girls about 20 years ago in the preschool period. Rubella, or German measles, in children and adults is generally a mild, transient, self-limiting condition with sometimes fever and a rash in half of cases. It also tends to have uh, enlarged lymph nodes at the back of the ears and at the back of the head. Uh, but it's something that you can't distinguish easily from any other viral infection. Women who are planning to have uh, a pregnancy need to prepare in many ways, including having a good diet, and making sure their iron levels are high, and also checking that they're immune to particular diseases, especially rubella. You just don't know if you've had rubella in the past. It's not a typical childhood illness that you can remember or that your mother can remember. So it's important uh, that you get immunised and that you be immunised before you get pregnant. Rubella vaccination is usually given as part of a triple vaccine against measles, mumps and rubella. Now that vaccine is a 0.5 mil uh, injection. It can be given after you've uh, had your baby if, you, if you're not immune and, and you only found that out during pregnancy. And importantly, it can be given while you're still breastfeeding. That's not a contraindication.